Just last weekend, fishermen were out on the ice in droves, taking advantage of that thicker ice. Well, as we head into another weekend after a week of warmer temperatures, we wanted to find out how unsafe a thaw like this makes our inland lakes. So new at 7, Ellen Baca talked with a few local experts to find out the risks. We're here at the shore of Reeds Lake, and you can see just how much rainwater and melt is taking place. And that's something that could be very dangerous as we head into another winter weekend where recreationalists are hoping to head out. From record-breaking cold to record-breaking warmth, West Michigan is briefly back to shorts weather. And as the patches of green grow larger on our lawns, Concern is growing about our inland lakes. So coming out here today, I actually didn't think that we were going to see anyone on the lake because it's so warm outside. <sighs> Diehards. Um, obviously, the weather conditions have changed dramatically in the last 48 hours. What the ice conditions are, uh, you're, you're really taking a gamble when you walk out there. We saw three fishermen slide out onto Reed's Lake today during our interview. You need at least four inches of ice for it to be solid enough to walk on, and many lakes had climbed to eight to 10 inches before today's warmth. When you go out there, you do so on your own risk. Rain doesn't weaken an ice shelf as much as wind and warmth do. Just one day of upper 50s is enough to rob at least two inches of ice thickness from a sheet. And there's another factor that many might not be considering road salt. Behind us is a, uh, one of the storm sewer runoffs that, that fill the lake. Storm water rolling into our local lakes this week will likely have diluted road salt with it, which lowers the freezing temperature of water. Rescuers say they can't stop people from going onto the ice this weekend, but they do stress the importance of wearing a life jacket, doing several ice thickness and quality tests, and staying self-aware, because it can be really easy to fall for safe-looking ice. For Storm Team 8, I'm meteorologist Ellen Baca. Oh, got to be so careful. As temperatures drop back below freezing this weekend, remember to be cautious before you head out on the ice. Don't assume just because the ice on an inland lake was okay last weekend that it will be sturdy enough for you to be back out there tomorrow. And as those temperatures plummet overnight, make sure you stay connected. Download our Storm Teammate mobile app before you hit the road in the morning. You'll be able to get the forecast on your phone and be alerted to any potential slick spots on your commute.